The Detroit Lions are doing it again. They have found another coach in a position where I think we need help from another coach. And uh, man, oh man, am I excited about this. Again, it is a former player, which is what they do. And they are starting to mirror what they've done on the offensive side of the ball um, to the defensive side of the ball. So one thing you're starting to see is they're hiring extra coaches in, which means that the Fords or the Hemp's, or whatever you want to say, are saying, you know what, we'll give you even more money. This doesn't count against the salary cap when you're doing coaches. So hire what you want, get what you want, and basically they're saying to Aaron Glenn, we've got you covered. So who are they hiring? They are hiring Deshay Townsend as their new passing game coordinator. Now, pause, don't let me make the same mistake I did when we got our new D-line coach and run game coordinator, and I made a video that I talked about run game coordinator. This is weird, right? It's a defensive run game coordinator. This hire is a defensive passing game coordinator. This is not for the offense. So don't worry. All right. Tanner Engstrom's job is not in jeopardy. And what's funny is that on Pride of Detroit, they made the same thing. It's an update. Like, okay, this is not for the offensive side of the ball. This is a new trend that is starting to hit the NFL over the last five years or so is it started on the offensive side of the ball where you get a run game and a passing game coordinators, all right? And these are basically additional guys to help the offensive coordinator help the uh, head coach. Now they are starting to form very recently on the defensive side of the ball. So Aaron Glenn is still our DC. But what's really nice about this is this allows our team to have even more coaches helping them do the same thing. So let's listen to who, let's let's find out about who this Deshae Townsend guy is. So here's what we know. He was with the Jacksonville Jaguars over the last two years. In fact, what I thought was kind of funny is I even went and found a report from Jacksonville talking about this. He served as the pass game coordinator and cornerbacks coach, which is the job he will have here, it looks like. Um, I'm going to check into that, and I think it's defensive backs more specifically for us. Um, for the last two years in Jacksonville, he was fired the day after the season ended. If you don't know what happened in Jacksonville, they fell off the face of the earth. They ended the year one and not or one and five. They should have been a lock to be um, AFC South champs. The Texans come roaring back and end up getting the division. But I don't think the issue is so much the coordinators. All right, yeah, there were a lot of missed tackles and things like that. I think the issue is more along the side of who are the defensive backs. All right, tell me if you know these guys. Andre Cisco, he's younger, just a okay at best safety. That's who he is. Then you got Rayshon Jenkins, kind of a journeyman almost type, 30-year-old safety, never had any good years, especially recently. In fact, his best year as of late was recently Darius Williams having the best year of his career this year at 31 years old okay and then you have another young guy Tyson Campbell um who was a second round pick all right so you're looking at this defensive backfield and you start to realize like okay maybe they don't have a ton to work with they also only have one true pass rusher all right and how sweet is it knowing that Trayvon Walker is not good. <laughs> Sorry. It's just like, you remember draft day, right? Like you're sitting here and I remember I was watching it with Chris. We were live on the show and we just started celebrating because they really, the Jags really drafted Trayvon Walker. We got Hutch. We got Hutch. And I remember just getting so excited about it. The issue here more than anything is personnel. I remember going into the year, we have a second channel, Sports Talk Extra, and we were doing some Jags videos and stuff like that, along with like 10 other teams. And um, we've narrowed that down, by the way. But anyways, um, we were we were doing some Jags videos, and the big thing going into the year was like, who's going to play defense on this team? Like, what are they going to do? Like, the only player they have is Josh Allen. Like, that's it. And he's a good player, but... Like, I mean, you can say Devin Lloyd and, and stuff like that, but they didn't have the names on the defense, so it was going to have to be a collective effort. 
And then when you look at their defense in most categories, and by the way, the defense did kind of fall apart at the end, but in most categories, they're kind of a middle of the road defense. All right. In pass yards given up, they gave up 4,300 yards passing, but the average yards against average yards per attempt was more middle of the road. Okay, so what it means is that people threw the ball against them a ton. They ended up getting yardage, but the defense at least limited them to shorter catches. They were able to scheme them short, which which is a good thing. They also were a top 10 team in interceptions. So um, I don't know, maybe top 10 team. I mean, it was it was really close. Yep, they're a top 10 team. They're right here in interceptions tied with the Lions. So here's, I think, what we've, what we've realized with the Aaron Glenn defense, and here is the biggest struggle for me with Glenn, is it seems like he either can defend the run or nothing. Like, I have not seen this Lions team in the three years with Aaron Glenn, who is a former corner, and by the way, so is our new coach, Townsend, he is a former corner. I believe he was a corner for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's been coaching since 2011. But what I've noticed is in the three years in Detroit, our pass defense has not been good. It's been blown coverages. It's been guys looking lost. And some of it is due to talent. Okay, but Cam Sutton was not a untalented player. Like, it's not like he didn't have talent. It's not like he hadn't had successful years coming into Detroit. Okay, and I can actually prove some of that, and I will, but let's let's just have a conversation first because it's not like he was a bad player coming into this. So why isn't the why aren't the DBs playing well? He's proven he can stop the run this year, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. But that's it. Like not the passing game. So bringing in a new kind of passing game coordinator and defensive back coach is really good. I don't know what this means for Dre Bly. I don't know. I I haven't seen anything. Leave a comment if you've heard something about Dre Bly. I haven't seen anything yet. I'm not sure what this means. All right. So going back to the Cam Sutton thing, if you just go off PFF or however you want to do it, his defensive grades throughout his career as a rookie, it was a 50, 54 his second year, 74, 68, 62, 72, and then this year in Detroit, it dropped to 56. I would imagine when put more talent around him and put him back in a system that works even better, um, you're going to have him come up back toward that 60s, 70s, which is where he started the year. He started the year really, really well through the week six in Tampa Bay. He was playing really well. And then all of a sudden, week seven, Baltimore, something just hit him, and he played really bad football down the stretch. The only good games he had down the stretch were against the Saints and the Broncos. Everything else was really bad, like unplayable bad. And so when you're looking at stuff like this, bringing in more coaches, bringing in more bodies, bringing in more sets of eyes, is only going to help. And the Detroit Lions continue on with, all right, we're going to give opportunities to coaches that are former players that fit what we're about here in Detroit. Um, I think it's fantastic. And it's a guy that um, he's been looking around. He's had some interviews uh, and, and things like that. Um, it says that he was linked to several coordinator jobs this year. Which, which is interesting, but, um, all right. So there you go. That's the guy. Do you like it? Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.